hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified and when i drop the next update on i do stay tuned on today's episode on kubu high mishpa asks why he's embarrassed and apologizing as he isn't guilty of any mistake and that when pairs are made in heaven maybe she has someone else in her destiny as god always does everything for the best and if she had gotten married to chad she would have become his bahu and she wouldn't have been able to be his daughter he blesses her to be happy the nurse gives the doctor the report who inspects it under the scan while the new bride is tensed he finds a knife, sta a knife stabbed in the new bride's rib cage in her extra fumes he wonders how this is possible in darkness, as the light starts flickering, the new bride comes in her devilly form and reminds the doctor that he had been instructed not to take the x-ray. She tells the doctor that the reason he didn't hear her heartbeat is because her heart is dead. The doctor is scared and tensed. He asks who she is and she smiles evilly. He says that she isn't a human and she looks at him in a ghost-like manner while he clutches at his chest painfully and finally collapses on the floor under her evil gaze. She takes off his glasses while he severely palp while he's severely palpitating. She says whoever sees her dead heart isn't able to control his own heart. He finally dies of cardiac arrest, and she lays the glasses beside him. She takes the X-ray films and shreds it to pieces with scissors. Meanwhile, she starts searching for her pregnancy report. Outside her, he wonders impatiently what had taken Tanam so long. Chazia comes to tell him that she had been to the washroom, which took time and takes his permission to go to meet her friend. Ahu progresses towards the doctor's chamber. He starts knocking on the door, unaware that she is frantically searching for the papers, which she finally gets. Before she can open it, Ahu walks in, asking what happened. She says everything is fine as all reports are normal. He asks for the doctor and she lies that he just went out. He denies having seen him, but she insists that he went on an emergency case. He decides to call him. She says that it isn't needed and the doctor had said that if he gets the husband's love and attention, all will be okay. He's frustrated and he notices she's hiding the extra films, takes them from her and asks her to come along. She's terribly nervous and tense, thinking that if he reads them, he shall know the truth. Outside, he makes her sit in the car and she asks him to give the report, but he doesn't reply. He sits and gets a business call and gets busy in talking, lying that he was in a meeting while she eyes the report. She accuses him of lying as he doesn't want anyone to know she's bearing his child. He says that this isn't the case as he did come with her. She says that he didn't come for her as he thinks that this child is a mistake, which he isn't ready to admit. He stands as he has no answer. She pretends to be hot. They finally arrive home while she eyes the reports that he kept in the car and thinks that she would get the right time to take them out. Just then Ahil turns around and gets in the car, much to her surprise, takes the report out. She's irritated as he goes inside with the reports. The lights start flickering in the middle of the night and finally goes off. Shashi Kapoor finds his way through Shad's house in the late hours of the night, I Sanam sleeping peacefully in her room, unaware of his presence. Shashi Kapoor walks in. His foot collides into something. It makes a noise, waking up Sanam, and Shashi Kapoor retreats, jumping out the window. She looks at the feet and recognizes the shoes and screams for Chad. Chad comes in rushing, and Sanam narrates that Shashi Kapoor just came, and he's shocked. He runs after him. When he comes back, he finds Mishpa wandering around, and when he asks, she says that she isn't getting sleep. He makes an excuse, saying he has to be careful in the house of marriage. She says that it was a house of marriage. Both look at each other tensely. She turns away and leaves. He stops her and apologizes profusely that he never meant to hurt her. She says that she understands that it isn't his fault and asks him not to be bothered that she shall never get more than time. And destiny awaits for her. She says that what happened today shouldn't have, but she has no issues with him or his wife. But she needs some time to recover as it says time heals all wounds and she hopes that he can give her tight. She leaves. He feels guilty of the innocence of both Mishpa and Sanam and how he is using and hurting them eventually for Shashi Kapoor. The next morning, while he is embarrassed to see Sanam finding him bare tossed in his boxer after taking a bath, 
She meets one of him and his shy nature. He insists that she doesn't need to himself in picking out clothes and asks her to leave. She's amused and then buggered. He asks her to turn around and she amusingly complies. He then walks past while she jokes that she did see. She's in split of laughter as he hides in the bathroom. She takes out clothes for him. Later he comes hoping that she isn't around. She comes in bubbly, asking who she's she's searching for, saying that she forgot everything but not his likes and dislikes. The servant comes in saying that Mishpa sent clothes for him and is asked to keep them at the table. He complies and leaves. Sanam says that she should go and meet Mishpa. He says that this isn't the right time. She says that she must be angry right now as she's to be blamed. She says that when someone is angry, they should be handled immediately and insist on going. She leaves while he stands. Ayo keeps the report carelessly on the table and leaves. She's about to take them when he comes back and takes them and opens it. She says she shall keep it properly. He ignores her and asks if he can read it. She asks when he doesn't even care for the child. Why does he want to read the report? He says that had he not cared for the child, she wouldn't have been here. He stands as he reads the report while she's worried. He turns to her and says that the reports are fine and the baby is normal and hence there's nothing to worry about. She's boggled herself. He says that he would call for some medications and vitamins from the doctor and leaves. She's still confused and goes through the report herself. She wonders how this is possible. She wonders if this ends her report, then who is this Miss Ibrahim? And not Mrs. Ibrahim. She smiles evilly, thinking that she landed the trump card as none can stop her from winning, as he would himself have to admit that he is the father of this child. She straight away went or goes to Chazia and tells that she is going to become a mother, that she understands everything that since she was there inside the doctor's cabin, hence Chazia couldn't get the report. She asks Chazia what she would do with the report and tell Ahil what she's doing. She thinks that the whole world thinks of her as innocent and she is on her way to become an unwed mother. Chazia gets scared and pleads her not to say anything to Ahil, not to disturb him any further. She agrees and says everything comes at a price and she would have to do something for her if she wants to keep this a secret. Chazia goes to Ahil and says that she wants to say something to him without getting angry. He's boggled. She says that she he should organize a press conference announcing the arrival of the baby. He gets angry, asking if she knows what she's saying. She says that she knows that he doesn't consider the new bride his wife and that this child should get the rights he deserves. Ahu is ignorant to do this, saying that he can't take the risk of Sana knowing it. The new bride who is hearing this from a distance comes and starts eating papaya. He shocked and comes to her, asking if she knows what she what would happen. She says that she knows the child can die and when he doesn't care for the baby, why is he bothered? She begins to eat again. He asks her to stop it, asking who said that he doesn't want it. The new bride asks if asks Ahil if he has the strength to accept their physical relationship in front of the entire world and claim this child in her womb as the first heir of this family. He stands and speechless. She says that if she doesn't have the power, then he should let their child die. He stands. The new bride here are here, arranging for a press conference through phone calls and feels victorious. Just then he gets the nurse call from the maternity home saying that she wants to talk to him about the new bride's x-ray results. He asks her to say it. She says she can't tell it and wants to meet personally. He asks her to come tomorrow at the press conference. She agrees. After gets tea from Mish Bar, who goes to get for her mother too when she joins them. After assures Razia that Miss Ba would get married soon. Sanam comes in saying that she's also hopeful of this addressing him as father. He says that he isn't her father as she may be a child's wife but not her, their Bahu. And for him, she shall be the girl who hurts his knees. Child who is who comes down is also tends to hear this. He stands for Sanam saying that she isn't to be blamed as he should address his complaints to him. After says that he has nothing to say to him. Mishba comes and asks after to forgive them both. Salam turns around to face Mishba for the first time, seeing whom she is boggled as she reminds her of Tanvi and her evil deeds, but she can't remember that. 
she stares at Mishpa in shock. Thank you guys for watching today's update on I do. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for more updates. Bye.